Hi, fourth graders. We're going to be reading a story. It's an information article. Um, this week's essential question is, how can learning about the past help you understand the present? This week's story is called Where It All Began. All right, let's go ahead and listen. Take a tour of Jamestown, Virginia. They thought they were lost. Oops, sorry. Take a tour of Jamestown, Virginia. They thought they were lost. Three ships had sailed from England on December 20th, 1606. The expedition was bound for Virginia, carrying 144 people. Finally, on April 26, 1607, the ships sailed into Chesapeake Bay. The settlers built a fort on an island in a river. They named the fort after their king, James. Jamestown became the first successful permanent English settlement in the New World. The struggle to survive. Ignorance is bliss is a well-known proverb or saying, and for the 104 men and boys who came ashore, this was true. They were faced with tremendous problems. The water was unsafe to drink and food was scarce. There was very little to eat. Two weeks after the settlers arrived, 200 Indians attacked them, building the Jamestown settlement in 1607. Okay, so this story is all about when we discovered Jamestown and when people came over um, from England and they went to Virginia and their expedition there. John Smith, a military man, became head of the colony in 1608. He found local tribes in the area willing to trade food for English goods. Smith was tough. He that will not work shall not eat, he told the colonists. Smith knew that an attitude of every man for himself would hurt the settlement. Pocahontas became a friend to John Smith. She was the daughter of Chief Powhatan. He ruled 14,000 Algonquin-speaking peoples in the western Chesapeake area. Pocahontas saved Captain John Smith's life. The real-life Pocahontas. Prentice Matoka was born around 1595. Her father, Chief Powhatan, called her Pocahontas. She saved John Smith's life twice. Pocahontas married a planter, John Rolfe. In early America, settlers and Indians didn't marry. It was the first marriage in that era between an Englishman and a Native American. Rolfe, Pocahontas, and their son visited London, but Pocahontas fell ill on the ship back and died in March 1617. Taking a closer look. Archaeologists digging in Jamestown have discovered Indian artifacts along with English ones, evidence that Indians lived in the fort. It must have been a very close relationship, says William Kelso, an expert in early American archaeology. Kelso has worked for 10 years to document this site. His team has managed to successfully uncover more than 1 million artifacts and map out the fort and a burial ground. Jamestown left a record of greed and war, but it was also the start of representative government. The settlers gave America a solid base to build upon. Dr. William Kelso, working on the archaeological dig in Jamestown. Map of Settlement of Virginia, 1607 through 1700. Okay, so the map key, if you see the circles, show the village. The squares show a fort. The triangles show the Indian reservations, which I'm not sure I see them there. And then right here, the star shows the capital. Um, the extent of the European settlement, so all the orange part, is where the people who came over and did not live there before kind of settled. Um, and then the immigration path that they took and how they got in. Um, this text was a little more difficult text. I suggest maybe reading it twice before answering um, the questions today. Once you are done, make sure to answer the questions and go ahead and submit this. Have a great day.